Hi, I'm Bruce Swalski. I am author of Canadian Wilderness Survival and chief instructor of the Boreal Wilderness Institute. And today I would like to focus on another piece of survival gear, and that is mitts. So if you like to learn real survival knowledge, then please support me by following me on YouTube and liking this video. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about mitts. And you go, well, mitts, whatever. No, Bruce, it's something different. Mitts are a fundamental piece of cold weather survival gear. And they're not going to go away, and they have a lot of reasons why. So what you're looking at here is an overmitt. So the actual mitt is inside. And so this is a standard fleece mitt. Pretty simple little thing. And you will notice that it has a, a loop. That loop is so that I can tie it with a, with a string, at least a dopey string, and that round your neck. So both mitts can be dropped and you can work without losing your mitts. So it's a safety system. So when you look at a mitt like this, it's a very simple little pattern, but it works really well. Why? Because you can put your fingers together and keep them warm. What's the over mitt for? The over mitt is so you can protect your mitt. So in this case, it's an over mitt. Handmade, as you can see. These patterns are pretty simple. You can get them everywhere. And that mitt allows you to protect. Sometimes you'll see a piece of fur on the back, and that's designed. So you can heat your nose. Sometimes they'll put a patch of fleece on the back for the same thing. So you can warm your nose up and not take your mitts off. So these mitts, pretty basic, pretty simple. Now, I started originally with a pair of mitts like this. So you look here. It's a leather outside. A little bit more waterproof. And on the inside, with a layer of wool. So if you standard wool mitt like this, put it over, and then you put the over mitt on it. So first time I ever did a survival course, this is the kind of mitt I was wearing there with, you know, in this case, that, that that's a, this is a rag wool mitt. So this is manufactured, but mine were originally all made by my grandmother, right? And these mitts work. These mitts have a big bonus. What's the idea of the leather? What's the advantage of the leather? They're fire friendly. This is not fire friendly. What's the advantage though? I can roll these up nicely, shove them in a par of my parka, parka pocket, and then do work, whether that's in a set of leather gloves or in a set of, uh, of standard gloves, and then go back to my mitts. So that's the bonus. If I need something heavier or bigger, I'll go to something like this. So here is a fancier set of over mitts. And what you see is a Prima Lock mitt, fairly hefty, fairly nice mitt. And then inside, there is the over mitt. And the over mitt is a bit more high tech. It's got a nice bit of cloth on the inside. This is actually probably Gore-Tex on the outside and a little different here. Why? See? You can put that on. Right? That's designed so that even in my parka, I can do that. These work really, really well. High end, high tech, good mitts. Operate with the mitt on and warm me up really, really well. Again, I can fold these. They're a little bit bigger and shove them in my parka pocket. Extreme cold, I wear mitts like this, and I take them with me. This is one of those items I rarely leave behind. To make all of them work, what do I need? I need a set of leather gloves. Leather gloves work with this. They're fire friendly and allow me to do my work and then go back to the mitts to stay warm. Mitt gloves like this, they're, although they have dexterity and ability, won't keep you as warm because they're individually separate fingers. So when it's extreme cold, a pair of mitts. Mitts work, mitts are fantastic survival gear, and they'll save your life. That's how it works. Again, heavy Prima Loft mitts like that with an over mitt, with, with, a, with the over mitt, lighter uh, uh, fleece uh, mitts like this still work. And what I've done is this is a single, set, a single layer of fleece I also have some that I doubled up. And again, you can get these patterns all over the internet on any sewing site. Really, really easy to do. Make these yourself. They work fantastic. They're well worth the effort. If you can't find set already, just make them. Like literally, it won't take you anything at all. Double layer fleece mitt really does work. 
fancy Prima Loft mints, yeah, they're super good. They're super well. Or just going back to an old set of, uh, 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 of wool mints. Mitts, though, are a life-saving critical item. They're an incredible piece of clothing, and they allow you to keep warm and warm your hands up really well, as well as they work really good with hand warmers. You can just drop a hand warmer inside and mitt and warm, those, and warm your hands up, get that dexterity back, getting everything blood flowing, get your hands back into shape to work, put the mitts away again, put your leather gloves on, get back to work and when you're doing work. Right, it really makes a difference. So, focus on survival today was on mitts, and mitts are an incredible important piece of winter clothing. And I really advise you to spend time out in the winter, take those mitts with you, they'll save your life. So, if you like this life saving knowledge you learned on this channel, then please support me by following me on YouTube, liking listening and liking to other videos on this channel and by following me at the Boreal Wildernesses on Facebook. So thank you, stay safe, and if you're stranded in the wilderness, just remember, stop and survive.